Hi, it's Karen here. Thank you for joining me. Um, today I thought we would paint this whimsy abstract watercolour. Um, be great for a postcard or a notelet or to send as a greetings card mounted up on cardstock or watercolour paper. This is an A6 size that I've used on this format. Um, but I'd also like to paint on this size format. It's um it's eight by four. That's the size of the painting, um, the paper we'll, we'll be using that I'll be painting on now. Um, but as always, I'll put the um the materials that I use in the description below. Uh, but this is uh, this is what I'm going to be um doing on this um tutorial so let's get started i've i've kind of blocked it in um already and i'm going to lim limit my palette i'm going to be just be using um three uh colors maybe four um i'm going to work straight from the pan um so yeah let's get started uh I've just activated my paints, so I'm just going to literally just rub the the, uh, the paint onto onto my paper. I'm not thinking about this. It's really nice and loose, and you know, it's just to get us really nice and loose. And feel comfortable with our paints and our paper so of course you you use whatever color that um, that you like whatever combination of color that you like that would be great um, I just happen to really love these these bright colors I think they uh, just cheer me up really and it's been terribly rainy here in the UK. I hope you fared better. Now, I'm just using the tip of my flat brush and I do want these kind of stronger geometric lines. I think that that kind of works well um, for this for this project. Now you can use wet on wet, of course. Um, it's nice to kind of um, use the dry paper as well to get some different um, marks. You know, use, use your brush at different angles. That's always good. Thicken up your consistency of paint. That will give you a really nice contrast. And it's literally, that's it. So we just have to wait for our watercolour to dry. Now, if you want to, you can use some, um, some really nice, you can put some really nice flicks on there. Um, yeah. If you want to splatter, absolutely. That's good. Don't go too... Um, don't go too heavy, heavy on your splatters at this stage because we kind of want to keep it as as clear as we can so that's that's what I've done on this one I've done a little one so to aid in drying sorry for stretching over um, so this one's perfectly dry now so what I thought I would do is is get my um, my metallics out um, because I think a little bit of sparkle in February will cheer us all up, won't it? Um, so I'm going to just use the um, classic gold and I'm just going to put some circles on of circles. And if you don't catch all of your, um, 
if your paint doesn't catch the whole of the circle that you've made, don't worry, you can go over it if you want to. That's absolutely fine. If you want to make solid circles, yeah, you can do that as well. There is no hard and fast rules. It's it's really lovely and freeing. But I do think this gold looks super on um, the blue green and um, and on the uh, on the violet. It's uh, it just it really sparkles. I hope the camera is picking this up. And um, if you just want to do some really fine little little dots with your brush, absolutely, absolutely can do that. So, just rinsing my brush out now. I urge you to leave yours to dry. Um, I am going to use my, I just set my, well, um, my metallics uh, to one side. I am going to use the Fabia Castel um, 0 0.5 uh, little um, eco pen. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Juice. They're kind of like seed heads, really. That's what I, I, I want to say. But of course, they're they're just lovely doodles, aren't they, for us? Now you can put as many or as few as you like in. It's totally up to you. Um, I'm going to put. Another couple there, being really mindful not to go over the ones that I've just, I've just um, with the metallics that I've painted on. Um, that's why if if you know when you when you do yours, you can um, you can go over your metallics with your pen, but. I'm having to be mindful on mine because uh, my metallic is still wet. Now, you can use dots or you can do little squiggles. It's entirely up to you. It's, it's just being lovely and free. We're not getting caught up with making a masterpiece. This is spontaneous and we're just working lovely and loose no pressure no pressure at all okay this is about having fun and enjoying our um enjoying our our painting i'm gonna put this one here now you can put as put some little divots at the bottom little if you want to Nothing step set in stone, absolutely not. Okay. So that gives us uh, the, the core of our seed heads. So we can then ideally leave that to dry. Um, but if you, if you use a ballpoint pen or something like that, you can paint more or less straight away on top of that. Now, for the white at the top of the seed heads, I'm going to be using um, my Winsor & Newton white, polar white ink. Uh, if you have gouache, absolutely use that. If you have just um, white watercolour uh, paint, yep, use that. Or if you have a white gel pen, yep, use that. So I'm just going to... Just load my brush up, just the tip, just the tip, and I'm just going to offer these with a kind of flat brush. Just do these little lovely. Okay. 
they're just really we're just kind of dabbing it on really and as you can see it's it stands out really well on the darker color of the watercolor paint that we've laid down but i think it's it's nice um, because you don't know you're not thinking about planning out i'm going to put that colour there and that colour, I think you get some really lovely effects because you're just relaxing. Okay, and we just we're just dabbing. Okay, just cleaning my brush off. Now I am going to put the lid back on this because I just know that I'll uh, I'll knock it over. So let me put that to one side. Now you can leave as is if you want to, or if you want to, you can bring back your metallics. Now, if you don't have any metallics, you can also use a, a thicker consistency of your watercolor paint, uh, Indian yellow or orange, whatever. Um, color that you that you'd like you know experiment try try and see what colors sit nicely together um i think i'm gonna put another i'm gonna put another thicker circle I just think, you know, um, using the metallics just cheers us up, doesn't it? It, it really does. Um, just need a little bit more creamier consistency. Of paint. Now, of course, use, if you want to use, you know, bigger um, elements, i.e. you want bigger circles that are completely filled up, absolutely. You can do whatever you like. Now, I think I'm going to leave that there now and bring back the other one that, that we've done. And as you can see, they they really do lend themselves to some really nice um, things that you can use them for. You could even use them as maybe a card and some gift tags if you want to. Uh, when they're dry, I will cut them. Shall I cut them now and see? And hopefully I won't I won't mess up. Yeah, let's try. You, of course, don't do this at home, folks. Wait for yours to dry. So I'm going to carefully, as carefully as I can, um, just. Just put that on there. Squeaky. <laughs> and I'll put that like that. So you've got a better, you can see much better on on what you um what we've done or if you prefer to leave them in the um in the three uh format you know like that you absolutely can it's it's really nice and freeing i really do hope you give this a go um i really do hope you give this a go it's it's lots of fun and it's very very easy and um I think you'll be so glad you did when you try it. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye and uh, take care and see you again soon. Bye.